This is the Royal Victoria Hotel in St. Leonard's Hastings and it's time to go urban exploring. So then, this is what a hotel looks like and it looks rather posh actually. It sort of looks like it was posh in the 80s. Like in the 80s they made it ultra posh and they've sort of done nothing since. So this is what it looks like and if you take a look in my room, wow. Now I've never stayed in a room that looks quite like this before. It looks posh but rather tatty at the same time. So then let's start off this urban exploring by taking a lift down to the basement and this is what a lift looks like. It was originally a 1900s lift which was replaced in the 80s but when they replaced it they put back in the original woodwork from the original lift car. Now it's a really nice feature I kept the original woodwork but it's not as good as if they kept the lift completely original when they replaced it did a complete like of light rebuild like rebuilding everything back to how it was keeping the lift car completely original with the gates and keeping motor single speed that would be much better than this and this lift sort of makes me think it's like generic lift company saying oh we'll keep your lift looking old so put back in the original woodwork that's nice but the rest of it they all make a bit modern sort of spoil it a bit but anyway if this lift was original since the 80s replaced that'd be really nice but no they've gone and modernised it again with Leicester controls so this lift doesn't really run that nicely but anyway let's now take a ride this lift down to the basement which surprisingly is not locked and here I am down at the basement where there is this spooky flap which says staff only right then I've just got to get out here just look at this dark creepy passage there's no lights where's the light switch and I could not find a light switch it looks like a light switch across the passage so then lift do not close the doors it's pitch black down here right no lift don't shut the doors right quick go to the light switch and doesn't work quick back to the lift oh dear why once again am I urban exploring without a torch anyway this basement looks so awesome but I can't get out without a torch it'll be pitch black and now it's lift serving time so then open up the lift and surprising thing about this lift is that this seems to be an early example of trial key doors since this is like from the early 80s and trial key was just coming in at this stage and some of the trial keys are the wrong shape because that's the complete triangle shape all the way up to the corners of the triangle now some of the triangle keys on ebay are this shape but most of the usual ones and the lift engineers ones aren't they able to round off triangle I meaning i couldn't open up some of these doors but on each floor the triangle is actually a slightly different shape meaning on some floors i could open up doors for some floors i couldn't and here this on top of the lift and it looks really awesome but where is the light switch now i think i'm being really dumb since this lift is from the 80s i didn't try and hide light switch in those days is the light switch in the motor room is there really no light switch on top of this lift on my being completely thick and just missing it i don't know but nevertheless i did not manage to find it which is very annoying and what is that glowing button maybe that's the light switch <gasps> it's the alarm oh dear Right, that was not good. Right, let's leave this now. Things I'll be coming to check out the lift. So then, about half an hour later, I'm back to urban exploring again. And this is what a hotel looks like. It looks quite posh at the end of this passageway. There's posh staircases going down, and that's not really that interesting. But in the middle of this passageway, not that far from the lift, there is this staff only door. Right, through the staff only door I go, and there is spooky staircase. Epic. Bloody stairs. This is so much better than the rest of the hotel. The rest of the hotel is like a Porsche, a bit tacky, but no, this is much better. Nice and creepy. So then, down the staircase I go, except it looks very dark down this staircase. So down I go, and as I go down, it gets darker until it gets very dark. But there's a light switch on each floor. So as I go down, I can turn on the lights, lighting up the staircase as I go. And here I'm on the ground floor. Reception is just across the way from here and it's got a glass window in the door. They would see the light is on, on the staff only staircase. Just hope they don't notice I'm down in the basement. And down to the basement I go and turn on the light and epic spooky basement. Now just compare this to the rest of the hotel which looks a bit tacky and posh. No, this basement's much better. And along to the lift motor room I go and I haven't even bothered to lock it. So into the motor room I go and here is the motor. And it's actually quite a small motor surprisingly. And this is what motor room looks like. It's this really big room. And on the wall there is Leicester Controls. Oh dear, and that pretty much takes a lot of character out of the lift. And it's got this weird hole in the motor room. Into this other sort of connecting room. And if I use the camera's flash, we can see the lift shaft is a later addition. So this hotel was built in sort of early Victorian times. The lift, I think, was built somewhere around 1900s to 1920s. The lift shaft's a later addition, and you can very much see this. So then, let's open up Leicester Controls.
So then, let's now make this lift move. So then, out from Bow Troop I go, along to the spooky passage. Wow, I was not expecting this place to be quite this creepy. Now this is a Victorian hotel. Victorian places often have these quite creepy basements. And along to the lift. So, call the lift. Press some buttons in it. And back to the motor room. So then, out of the motor room I go and let's take a look around the spooky basement. First, along to where the lift is. So now I carry on go along past the lift through this other door and more creepy weird area underneath the hotel. Just look at this. So creepy. And over here is some junk. There's so much junk in this place that like I don't want to be bothered to get rid of it. It might come in handy someday. So we just shove it in the basement. And along to the end of the basement I go. Now this is extremely dark. I can barely even see. And along go to this weird door at the end. The first locked door I've come across so far. And next to this door there is a staircase going upwards. Let's go up it to see where it goes. And it goes into a staff storeroom. And you can see some of the, and you can see some bikes that belong to the staff. This is very much the staff storeroom. And I don't really want to look around in case any of the staff coming and see me in here. So back down to the basement I go. Just look how creepy this bit is. So I'll go back towards the lift. And just across the way from where the lift is, there is a door. Open it up and it's a creepy weird storage area. This is directly below the main reception area of the hotel. So going past lift and up this way, back along to the main staff only staircase. And now I go along the other way and this bit looks very spooky. Now this looks like some weird underground going to the spooky secret basement area and along to the boiler room That is creepy. I don't know why it's turned off. I'm guessing it just turns on and off with demand and supply. This is so creepy in here. I'm amazed it was unlocked. So I long got out of the boiler room, back to Spooky Passage. Long Spooky Passage, I go through this door where it's really dark. And I carry on going up the passage, even though I can barely see, and I long I go too. The water tank room. So then, out of the water tank room, I go and along this really creepy passage, and along I go into this room. Out of bounds to all staff. What could be in there? And it looks very creepy. No light switch. And I started to think maybe it's asbestos. So back out of that room. No, I'll go to the next room. Please keep locked shut. And have they? Nope, they haven't. Into this room I go. And wow, completely full of crap. <laughs> 
So what do you do in the spooky basement? Shove all the stuff in it that you don't want but can't be bothered to get rid of. Hey, you never know. One day it might come in handy. And now go along to the end of this passage and into this very spooky room. This really spooky room makes me think, makes me think, was this room used in the war? It sort of looks like it, like when there's an air raid, all of the people in the hotel would come down here. It'd be like his basement area where it'd serve food and various things since some of the air raids did actually go on for quite a long time. That's what it makes me think, because it does remind me of sort of like an air raid shelter thing right down in the basement. And now I go back along the passage along to a room which I missed, which is Telecom's exchange room. Danger! High voltage! Right, let's take a look in here. So then, out of this room I go back along the side passage, back to the main passage, and it appears I've now seen all of the basement. So then back up the staff only staircase, I go up to the ground floor, where there is this door. I go through this door and... It's another creepy area. Even the back areas of the ground floor are creepy. So then, back along to the staircase I go, back up the staircase, back to my hotel room I go, and later on I'll get into bed and start to go to sleep, thinking that was a really good urban explore. But once again, every time where I just finish an urban explore, I start to think, could I have done better? That wasn't a good urban explore after all, because there's so many other things I could have done, such as surfing the lift. So at one o'clock in the morning, just when I was almost asleep, I got up again and went back for some more urban exploring. Back to the spooky staff only staircase and down I go, back into the basement, back into the lift motor room and I looked all around but I could not see a switch for a car top light or the shaft lights. So back along to the lift I go and can I open it up on this level? And I can and here is the lift shaft right down in the lift pit. So then where is the switch to turn on the shaft lights? There's always a light switch right down in the lift pit but where is it? I could not see it anywhere. This, this lift is just taking a piss. Am I just being really stupid here? It's like a light switch right in front of me. I just can't see it or something. It's like no car top light, no shaft lights, no way to turn on the light so I can surface lift. And I hear footsteps. And someone has noticed the lights are on in the staff only staircase and they've come down to the basement. I'm going to be caught down here. Found a person came very close to where I was standing and just as I thought I was about to be caught, they turned back and did not see me. Oh, that was so close. And up the staff only staircase, they go turning off the lights behind them. Now, they didn't turn off all of the lights in the basement, so I've brought a little bit of light down here, just enough light to get my way back to the staff only staircase and up the staff only staircase I go in the dark feeling my way up as I go I don't dare turn on the lights that was scary I almost got caught and that's pretty much the end of this video the next day I went around exploring Hastings and one very unusual building which I saw was this building with an external lift shaft it looks like it's all hacked away part of the building leaving a lift shaft exposed like that lift shaft was originally inside the building that's weird I've never seen a building that looks quite like this before sadly I didn't manage to get in it but nevertheless I just wanted to show this because it is such a weird building and that is the end of the video.